Hi, I'm Anne-Marie Community Educator for Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service. Um, I'm just going to quickly explain to you about how we can get the fire out of our clothes. So if our clothes were ever on fire, if we got too close to, let's say, a candle or an open fire, we need to do something called stop, drop and roll. So the reason we do the stop, drop and roll is to get the flames out of our clothes. So if we all say this together, so it's stop, drop, roll. And then, if you want, you can have a practice and I'll show you how to do it on the floor. So you need to imagine that my clothes are on fire, I've stopped, I've dropped on the floor, and I'm going to cover my face with my hands to protect my face. Because flames go upwards, we need to protect our face. Okay? So, I've stopped, I've dropped, I've got my face covered, and I'm going to roll. Okay, so then, we roll as much as we can to get the flames out of our face. Right, so shall we all practice that together? So it's stop, drop, and roll. Hello. Unfortunately, we've not been able to come in to see you, but we still wanted to bring you some really important safety messages from Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service. This is my smoke alarm. Now, you may not have heard that word before, smoke alarm. What I would like you to do is try and count how many smoke alarms you can see on the ceiling of the room you're sitting in. So they will look very similar to this. They may be white, they may have some coloured stickers on there. So I'm going to ask our teacher to pause the video and try and count how many smoke alarms you can see. Brilliant. Did you manage to count them? How many were they? Brilliant. So, our smoke alarms keep us safe. Our smoke alarms are always on the ceiling and they have a little nose that smells smoke. And if it smells smoke, it will sound to tell us that we need to leave where we are. We practice this at school on what to do at school, but we need to know what to do at home. Now, our smoke alarm at home may sound different than our smoke alarm at home, so I'm going to press this smoke alarm so you can hear it. So if anyone wants to put their fingers in their ears, they can do. Is everybody ready? Does that one sound a little bit different than your school one? Does your school one ring like a constant bell? Our smoke alarms at home give off short blasts of sound. And that sound means we need to listen to our mummies and daddies or our adults that we, listen, that we live with to give us our instructions of what we do. When we get home tonight, I want you to go and find your smoke alarms in your home. So speak to your adults that you live with and go and find your smoke alarms. There should be one smoke alarm on every level of your home. So go and see if you can find them and get your adult to press it so you know what it sounds like. In some later videos, some of my colleagues at the fire service are gonna talk about what we do if these smoke alarms go off. It's been a pleasure talking to you this morning and we'll see you all again soon. Hi, my name is Catherine and I'm going to talk to you about your plan if your smoke alarm goes off. Michael's already told you about how smoke alarms work. They use their nose to sniff out smoke and if there's smoke it means there might be a fire and we need to get out our house. So if you think about a fire, which direction does the smoke go? Yeah, that's right, the smoke goes up and the smoke will fill a room right up to the ceiling like all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to about here. So we've got some clear air at floor level. So if we're getting out our house, where's the safest place for our heads and our noses and our mouths to be? Yes, we're going to need to get on the floor when we get out. Okay, so let's practice getting out of your bedroom. So first of all, I've got myself down low on the floor because that smoke is really dangerous and I don't want to breathe any of it in. But where am I going to go? 
what should I do? I think I need mum and dad. I'm going to shout mum and dad. Mum! Dad! There's a fire! Help! And then I'm going to stop and listen. And when I hear them shout back, I'm going to crawl towards them so we can all meet on the landing. So let's crawl under the smoke. Mum! Dad! And listen and crawl to mum and dad. Okay, so now we've found everybody, we need to get out the house as quickly and safely as possible. So we might need to shuffle down the stairs on our bottom and out our front door. What do we need to do now? If our house is on fire, we might need to call somebody. Who do you think that might be? Yes, we need to call the fire service. And do we all remember the number for calling the fire service? Did you all get it? The number is 999. Shall we all shout that together? Are you ready after three? One, two, three, nine, nine, nine. So now I'm going to phone 999, but this is a pretend call. We never phone 999 unless it's an emergency. So if you have a listen to what I do and then you can practice it later, watch carefully because I'm going to ask you something about this. So I'm dialing 999. Oh yes please, can you have the fire service? There's a fire in my house. Yes, my address is 1 Main Street, Leicester, LE1. 2AB. We're all out the house. Please come. Did you hear the important information I gave on the telephone? First of all, I asked for the fire service. If we have a fire in our house, we need to ask for the fire service. And then the second thing I needed to know was my address. I'm going to put a picture on the screen to show you what an address looks like. Think about when you get your birthday cards. So your address may have a house number and a street name and you must always tell us what town or village you live in. And if you can remember it, please give your postcode. When we get out to our house, we need to wait outside for the fire service. We don't go back into our house for anything. Not for a toy, not for a pet. It's really important you get out, stay out and call 999.